executioner. Okay, so this guy killed us. This person was there with us to break us out of Cold Harbor. That's kind of cool. Alright, so let's talk to Prophet. These were the five companions who set out from the Imperial City on an epic quest to recover the lost amulet of kings. Okay, so how could the amulet of kings turn Baron into one of the dragonborn? Many Marco convinced Baron that the amulet could be used to perform a ritual that would rekindle the dragon fires. He claimed this would please Akatosh and entice him to adopt Varen as one of the Dragonborn. Why did Varen want to be Dragonborn? By tradition, only the Dragonborn can lay claim to the Ruby Throne and rule as the one true Emperor by divine right. Varen conquered Cyrodiil and took the throne, but unless he became Dragonborn, he feared he'd always be thought of as a pretender. So let's learn more about our executioner. Nanamarco the traitor, the great enemy, the most powerful necromancer this world has ever known. His worm cult infiltrates and corrupts every corner of Tamriel. It was he who convinced Baron to perform the ritual you are about to witness. Alright, so what happened? Disaster, war, and pestilence. A world brought to its knees. Now watch and see how one man's arrogance brought about the greatest threat our world has ever known. Alright, let's see it. There it is. The dragon fire brazier. Manimarco, are you certain this will work? It will work, my lord. The Amulet of Kings will rekindle the dragon fires and ensure your rightful place as Emperor. You have my word. It better work, Money Marco, or you'll find your neck at the business end of my axe. My lord, I wonder if you'd muzzle your half-giant pet. She really is annoying. Enough, both of you. We are here to ensure my lord's rightful claim to the ruby throne. Abner, begin the ritual. I have a destiny to fulfill. By the lighting of the dragon fires, I claim my rightful lineage. By the fires of creation, let me be reborn. By the will of Akatosh, I proclaim myself Dragonborn. Baron Aquilarius, you are no heir to Alessia. You will pay for your sacrilege. The veil between Tamriel and Oblivion tears and splits asunder. What's happening? The sky's opening up. This is bad. This is very bad. Whoa. Oh. This isn't supposed to happen. What's the meaning of this? Nanny Marco, what have you done? Gulliver fools! The veil between Oblivion and this world has been torn. My master, Moloch Paul, is free to claim Tamriel for his own. Akatosh! Forgive me! Have mercy on our souls! Whoa. That's nuts. I'm curious though, what was the ritual that killed us? The ritual tore the veil between Nam and Oblivion. Allowing Manamarco to begin stealing the souls his master needed to power the dark anchors and initiate the flame lamp. So, what went wrong? Akatosh gave Alessia the Amulet of Kings as a symbol of his covenant with Nam. So long as the amulet remained in the care of Alessia's heirs and the dragon fires remained lit, Tamria would be protected from the Daedra. What happened next? Manamarco tricked Varen into breaking the covenant, and the veil between Oblivion and Nern was torn. The Elder Scrolls named this event the Soul Burst. 
It gave Molog Bao the opportunity to disconnect the souls of men from their hosts. What happened to the other companions? Varon was lost. In the chaos of the moment, Sai Sahan took the amulet of kings and fled. Leris was captured by Menemarko and delivered to Cold Harbor, the realm of Molog Bao. What about Abner and Menemarko? Thaun remains Chancellor of the Elder Council, and his daughter Tribio rules as Empress Regent. But the true power remains in the hands of Menemarko and his worm cult. How did you end up in Cold Harbor? When I discovered the truth about the five companions, I made subtle inquiries, but apparently not subtle enough. Manamaka got word of my interests and abducted me. He took me to Cold Harbor, where I remained a prisoner until you freed me. They saw you as a threat? I don't see how he could really be a threat. The truth is always a threat to evil men. Manamarco feared I would reveal his treachery, and if knowledge of Nan's vulnerability were to become known, it could threaten his master's schemes. Molog Bal does not favor loose ends. Walk with me. Okay, makes sense. Long ago it was written, so long as the amulet of kings was born by Alessia's heirs, Tamriel would be protected from the forces of oblivion. But the soul burst tore the veil between worlds and gave Molog Baal the opportunity he desired. Molog Baal's dark anchors pierce the torn veil and seek to draw Nern into the depths of Cold Harbor. These terrible engines of destruction have been appearing all throughout Tamriel. So that's not good at all. And so it calls to us, Vestige. We must stop Molog Bao and his dark anchors, or our world is doomed. And now history seems to have caught up with us. Shall we return to the harborage? All right, I'm ready. As you say. So that was pretty cool. He like gave us a whole history lesson. And so it begins. The remainder of the story has yet to be written. It is your story now. You've given me a lot to think about. <laughs> yes, yes, you've given me a lot to think about. And there is so much to do. But know this, you will not walk this path alone. Okay, so what's our next move? We must grow in strength and in numbers. You will need more than the company of an old blind man to alter the course of history. We must assemble our own group of companions. The first you have already met. Lyris? Lyris sacrificed her own freedom to allow us to escape. She remains a prisoner in Cold Harbor. I must determine her precise location if we are to mount a rescue. That will take time. All right, so what should I do in the meantime? Minamarko's agents leave a web of lies and deceit. They pit the races of Tamriel against one another and divert their attention from the real threat. Seek out these agents, wherever they can be found, and expose their lies. All right, I'll do what I can. Forgive me. Bringing you to my mind seems to have taken quite a toll on me. I must rest. I will contact you when the time is right. Until then, walk in the light, Vistage. Alright, let's complete this quest. Alright. Well, uh, that's probably going to be about it for this episode. Uh, sorry it's a shorter episode. There was a lot 
going on. Um, but yeah. Um, in the next episode, we're going to run around, uh, do a couple of side quests, and uh, do some... Uh, oh, okay. uh, do some uh, resource gathering for blacksmithing and stuff like that. So... I uh, hope to see you guys in the next episode, and uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Peace out.